My proton moves north with a speed of 2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. A 5 Tesla magnetic field is directed west. Determine the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force acting on the proton. So let's start with a picture. So let's say this is the proton and it's moving north. Now the magnetic field is directed west. So first, let's determine the direction of the magnetic force. So you can use the right hand rule. So one version can be used this way. So point your thumb in a direction of the velocity vector and the other four fingers in a direction of the magnetic field. So this is V and this is B. Now, where your hand opens up, that's where the force is going to come out of. So in this case, since the force comes out of the palm of your hand, it's directed out of the page. So out of the page, we can use this symbol to represent that. So the velocity is in the positive y direction, which is the same as the positive j direction. The magnetic field is in the negative x direction, which is the same as the negative i. And the magnetic force is in, it's coming out of the page, so that's the positive z direction, which is the same as positive k. Now let's use another technique to get this answer. Now if this is the first time you see me showing you this technique, you may want to watch another video entitled Magnetic Force on a Current Carrying Wire. In that video I really give you a lot of examples on how to use this technique. So first write these letters I, J, and K in this order. And you need to know the formula for the magnetic force in this problem. And here it is. As a vector, it's equal to Q times the cross product of V and B times sine theta. So let's focus on this part. So the velocity is in the negative I direction, so that's going to come first. Now I do need to make one small correction. The velocity is in the J direction, not in the negative I direction. So let's fix that. Let's put J here. The magnetic field is in a negative i direction. And our goal is to get positive k, which is in the positive z direction. So before we figure out what this is, let's find the cross product of positive j and i. So we're going to start with j and go towards i in this direction. So the cross product of j and i is going to be k. Now it could be positive k or negative k. Now if we're going in the clockwise direction, it's going to be negative. If we're traveling in the counterclockwise direction, it's going to be positive. And we're going in the direction of a clock. So this is going to be negative k. So if the cross product of j and i is negative k, then the cross product of j and negative i is positive k. Because since we have a negative sign and here it's positive, we simply have to switch the sign to the final answer. And this is an agreement with the direction that we have. So positive k tells us that the force is in the positive z direction, which means that it's coming out of the page. So you have two ways in which you can get the same answer. So if you want more examples, check out the other video on how to use that second method. So now that we have the direction, let's calculate the magnitude of the magnetic force. Here's the formula. The magnetic force is equal to BQV sine theta. So B represents the magnitude of the magnetic field, which is 5 Tesla. Q is the charge of the proton, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. For an electron, it's negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And so if this problem was with an electron, the magnetic force won't be out of the page. It's going to be in the opposite direction into the page because we're going to have a negative sign here. And that's going to change the direction of the magnetic force. So make sure you understand that. The magnetic force of or acting on an electron is going to be the opposite to the magnetic force acting on a proton. They could have the same magnitude, but the direction is opposite. So if the magnetic force is directed east on a proton, then it's going to be directed west on an electron. So just some facts that you should know. Now V is the speed of the proton. 
and that's 2 times 10 to the 6. Now, what is the angle in this problem? The angle is the angle measure between the velocity and the magnetic field. And because they're perpendicular to each other, this is in the y direction, this is in the x direction, or the negative x direction, the angle is 90. So this is going to be sine of 90 degrees. And sine 90 is 1. So it's simply going to be 5 times 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 times 2 times 10 to 6. And so the magnitude of the magnetic force is 1.6 times 10 to negative 12 newtons, and it's directed out of the page or in a positive z direction. So you could say it's this times positive z. And so this combines the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic force. So this is the magnitude and this is the direction. It's going out of the page. Number two, a proton is moving at three times 10 to the six meters per second east in a magnetic field of 0.1 Tesla directed into the page. Calculate the radius of the circular path of the moving proton. So let's draw a picture. Let's put the proton here. And it's moving east. So its velocity is directed in a positive x direction. And a magnetic field is directed into the page. So what is the direction of the force? So using the right hand rule, if you point your thumb towards the right and your fingers into the page, what is the direction of the magnetic force? Now this is V. The magnetic field is directed into the page. The magnetic force will come out of the palm of your hand and this will appear to be north if you do it correctly. Now the way I drew it, maybe I can draw it better. So the force should be in this direction. So what's going to happen if the force and velocity are perpendicular to each other. What's going to happen to the direction of the proton? Now, whenever the force is perpendicular to the velocity vector, that force is known as a centripetal force. And so it's going to cause it to turn. And so eventually, the proton will be in this direction. And now, it's going to be moving this way. So if you use the right-hand rule, you'll see that the force is directed in this direction. And then when the proton is here, it's going to be moving in this direction. And the force will always be directed towards the center of the circle. And so this is basically a centripetal force because it always points towards the center of the circle. And so the proton is going to be moving in the counterclockwise direction. So an electron in this particular situation will be moving in the opposite direction. So let's say if we had an electron here, it's going to go this way, clockwise, whereas the proton is moving counterclockwise. So how can we calculate the radius of this circle? We need to set the centripetal force equal to the magnetic force because the magnetic force provides the centripetal force. It causes the particle to move in a circle. The centripetal force is mv squared divided by r. The magnetic force is equal to bqv sine theta. Now, because the magnetic field is perpendicular to the direction of the moving charge, the charge is moving here like in the y direction and here in the x direction and the magnetic field is always in the z direction so they're always perpendicular sine 90 is 1 so we don't need sine theta in this example now if we divide both sides by v we're gonna get that mv over r is equal to bq so let's cross multiply this is gonna be mv times 1 and that is equal to bqr so to isolate r we need to divide both sides by bq so the radius is equal to the mass of the proton times the speed divided by the magnetic field times the charge. 
Now, before we get the answer, I want to ask you a question. The magnetic force acting on the moving charge, which causes it to move in a circle, does it do any work on the moving charge? Does it speed up the charge, slow it down, or does it keep it moving at constant speed? Because the force is perpendicular to the velocity, it has no effect on the magnitude of the velocity. It simply changes the direction. So the speed is not changing. So whenever the force is perpendicular to the velocity, that force will do no work on the object. It will not increase its speed or decrease its speed. So the kinetic energy of the particle remains constant. So no work is done on a proton by this magnetic force. The mass of a proton is 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. So you may need to look that value up. Now the speed, we're given that, that's uh, 3 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And we have the strength of the magnetic field, it's 0.1 tesla. And the electric charge of a single proton, that's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So this is the formula that you need to calculate the radius of the circular path that a positively charged proton or a negatively charged electron will travel. It could be any charge. Any charge in a magnetic field can move in a circular path. So let's go ahead and get the answer. So the radius is 0.314 meters, or you could say 31.4 centimeters. And so that's the answer.